What about making you sound better? Hey guys, welcome along. My name is Ryan NZ and I am here with another tutorial in association with the guys from WA Production. Um, they got some great products, so check them out. This tutorial, we're going to do another future house type lead sound and we're going to make it inspire. So it's actually three layered sounds and you will get the presets and the MIDI. Um, I will tell you right now that the MIDI is uh, just taken from Kirby, one of his remixes. I think uh, for his remix of Rumors, um, just because I just think it's going to give a little bit more context to the sound so you, so you know what's going on. So this is the sound that we're going to make. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. And I'm going to just get straight into it here. We're going to make this one first. Now all that has, as you can see, is just the low cut going on. So this is going to be for the higher, um, the higher end, and just some side chaining. Um, and I've just removed those two, so it's going to be just a complete basic sound to start off with. So if we play it, we got the initialized patch. Like I say, you can copy that down if you want, or you will, I believe, be able to get the um, the MIDI file. So that's what we're working with. Okay. So we want to go in here, and we're going to be obviously working off a off an initialized preset. And to get that, you just need to click in it, like so. And then we are going to start here with oscillator one, and uh, we're going to bring it down an octave and then uh, well yeah just so you know we are obviously working with our first note there um, between C2 and C3 just you know so just so you know all right so we're gonna leave it with classic um, we're gonna put it to piano a4 and we're gonna turn the wet mix all the way up the wavetable mix, sorry. So it's uh, so it is this piano A4 wavetable here, and then Control A, we're going to move it, you know, so it sort of points to this left corner here, um, and we're going to just turn up the volume a little bit here with the uh, the volume for this oscillator, and we're going to change it to two voices, and we're going to turn the detune down. We're going to turn the wide, uh, sorry, the density. We're going to leave that the same. And we're going to turn the width all the way up. Um, and I believe that's what we're going to do for that first one there. And then for the second oscillator here, we're going to change it to FM. We're going to go with the same wave again, so piano A4. Um, and we're going to move it across so we're pointing to about the W. And then this guy is going to come up, and it's going to be sort of. No, it's going to come to about the A. Let's just... Obviously, you can't really tell much at the moment because uh, we have to turn it up and in, into volume. About there. Okay, and then we are going to change this one to two voices. Uh, three voices. Yeah, three voices. Uh, I'm gonna put the the D tune down again, the wide up. Leave the density the same, um, and then we are going to change this one here to C minor chord. Okay, uh, and I believe that's all we're going to do for that oscillator. Oscillator 3, we're going to change again to FM, and we're just going to keep using that same oscillator there, that same wavetable, and then 
Uh, no, actually, we're not. I'm trying to remember. So the sine wave. And we're going to leave it with FM. Uh, and then we're going to turn this control up here. And you'll see that it starts to change there. So, again, I'll just mute those two. And turn this one up about here. So I know I'm, I'm actually affecting the sound. Okay, great. Um, you know, put them both down an octave because I did the first one, but I didn't do the second one. So oscillator two as well, down an octave. So back into oscillator three here. And now I'm gonna come across here to the unison mode. This one's gonna be four voices. And the same one again, uh, we're going to just pull the detune down a little bit, leave the density, and put the width all the way up. Okay, um, and then we are going to move across into oscillator 4, and we're going to leave it with the classic. Again, we're going to put it down one octave, um, and we're going to move the note up seven semitones. This is uh, the key. This is one of the key parts to, to making this future house, you know, lead sound. It really, this is one very important part that can give the characteristic that you're looking for. Obviously, I have to turn the volume up here. We're gonna leave it there, basically about twelve o'clock. Um, we are going to uh, make this a square. So I'm going to turn the control all the way up to the right there. And I'm going to come across here. And we're going to put that to three voices. And then we're going to just pull the density down. The width up. Uh, so the detune down, sorry. The density down a little bit as well. Um, Okay, so that's what we're looking for at the moment from the oscillator section. Um, and then we'll come down here into envelope one, where obviously this is the, the main envelope for the amp, for the master volume. Uh, and we're just gonna push the decay up here, bring the sustain down, bring the release up a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, so at the moment we're sounding like this. Okay. Um, the next thing that you need to do is come across here to envelope three, which is by default already routed to the cutoff. Um, well, let's just, we're not gonna do much changes with that envelope. We come back and do a bit of a tweak. Um, it's it's gonna look pretty similar to this. Um, but we'll get into the into the filter section. So make sure it's on link, and we're going to change uh, the filter type to this one here, and we'll leave it on low pass one, and we're going to just push this up a little bit. And now that we've engaged the filter, you can hear all of a sudden that it is actually doing something, um, like so. Okay, uh, and then we are going to activate this one and put the high pass 4 on all the way down uh, just up uh, just up a fraction actually Okay, now we're going to come in here to the to the shaper section. Okay, so we are going to change the mode, and we're going to change to this one here. And I'm going to just uh, put the drive up. When you can't hear anything yet, because I haven't put the dry wet up, so we'll put that up actually. So it sort of points off to the T, um, and. 
you can hear at the moment that's not what we're looking for. So we're going to tweak it here so that we just affect sort of the area that we want. So we're going to do some low cut. So it's almost giving it like a bit of white noise, uh, just a bit of grit at the top. So now it's got some bite, which is what we want. Now we can give it a bit of um, the chorus here to make it a bit wider. So I'm just talking about like a small amount like that is probably fine. Um, not not worried about any of the phaser or the delay, um, but we will do some some reverb, just a, a tiny bit here. Um, basically, just the default setting will be fine if you just give it a little bit of dry wet. Just like that. And... Um, then for the EQ, so we're gonna just turn up the X, X comp a little bit here. Might just bring the volume down a little bit. Okay, now warm's already going. Uh, I'm gonna put boost on as well. Boost is going. So I need boost on. Uh, and then let's activate the EQ. And I'm just gonna sort of roll out some of the lows, even though they've already been done there. Um, I find that I can get a slightly different sound when I do EQ within, you know, with inside the synth as opposed to outside the synth. So I'm just going to sort of roll off the lows there. And then to the high synth, uh, we're just going to bring that back. And it's kind of like, like well, it is a high shelf. Um, maybe up about there, a little high shelf. So that's obviously with no EQ, and this is with. Uh, so that's taken care of that sound. Um, and yeah, I think that's that, that sound there that we need. Uh, we're going to, you can change to mono if you want, but I mean, we're just playing one note, because uh, obviously you can affect with the glide. But Spire is different in a way where some sense, you know, you, if it's on poly, it won't do any glide. But this one does. It has different um, modes. But for what we're looking for with this particular synth, this is just fine. Uh, so this is the first sound. And again, that's the EQing. I've just rolled off the lows. We'll put the side chaining on a bit later on. Well, you've, you've already heard it in the start there. But that's that synth. And then the next one that we're going to do. Is that one there. And that's going to take care of more of the body of the sound. Uh, there is no really, you know, there is no real sub under this. But I just, in this video, I just wanted to show you, you know, the meat of the sound. You know, you can put a sine wave or something underneath um, in your own productions. But this is just going to be the three sounds here that I showed you at the start. So next, we'll get on to making this lead sound here. All right, so we're going to make this next part with a blank initialized spire patch. And we're going to just use the same MIDI. I will let you know that this MIDI is one octave lower from the other MIDI clip and sound that we were working with at the start. So this is what we're working with at the moment. Just the basic sound. Okay, so straight into it here. So we're gonna go into oscillator one um, and we're gonna make this one here, again, the same characteristic. So we're gonna put this seven semitones up, uh, leave it on classic, and then we're gonna change this to guitar two. Um, this one here, guitar two, and we're going to turn the wavetable mix all the way to the right. 
uh, and that is that section there. Um, just put it up in volume a little bit there. Uh, and we're going to leave it with one voice, one octave. Leave everything, basically just leave everything the same. Uh, and then we're going to come across into oscillator 2, which we are going to put down one octave. And then we are going to change it to FM mode. And then piano A3. And then leave the wavetable max this time. And we're going to put this up to, you know, again, so it basically points across to this corner here, to that corner. Um, I'll just turn this up so we can hear what we're actually doing. And I'm going to have the volume basically the same level. So that's what we have um, so far. So with the second oscillator still engaged here, we're going to change it to vo four voices and put the width all the way up. Leave these two the same. Um, yeah, I think that's all we do for that one there. I'm going to come down in here into envelope one and just make sure we have the right sort of the shape that we want. It's very similar to the to the first patch. Um, and it's just basically just doing something for the lower, you know, below that synth in the frequency um, spectrum. Uh, okay, yep. So that's all we all we have for that one. And then we're going to come across, and we're going to obviously do the filter and the envelope here, envelope three already routed to the cutoff. But we will come back up here, and we will change this one here to the infecto mode. Leave it on low pass two. Um, turn the cutoff up. A bit of resonance. Make sure it's on link, um, and then we can come back down here to the cutoff, and yeah, we're not we're not going to do much more. Put this decay down. We want it about there. Okay, uh, and then we'll come up to the shaper section here. Change this again to the same one. Um, it's a little bit different here. So we'll add some drive. We'll turn up the dry wet so we can hear what we're doing. Uh, about there. Again, this needs to be some uh, some EQing done so we can clean up our, our processing that we're doing. Okay, sorry about that. It's my bad. That's gone down three octaves. I don't know why. This guy is meant to be... Um, this guy is meant to be up at just minus one, like so. Right. Okay, and then we're going to go across to the the reverb section, and again, just add a little bit on. Yep. And then, last but not least, come down here to the EQ section. Turn the X comp up a little bit, and we're going to add a little high shelf. So let's turn it on. Uh, we're going to add a little high shelf here. That's pretty much the sound. Again, the key factors with the sound is, you know, the use of FM can really get the right sort of tones. And if you, you know, choose the right, the voicing here with the uh, the semitones. So again, you know, 
a fifth or seven semitones up is something that really does give this future house sound you know it, it's significant you know characteristics really so that one there that we just made with this one there this one of course has um the low cut these two that's what we're looking for um and this white noise is is just a white noise sound uh we'll, we'll go through that though so here we just have another initialized patch inspire just use the same midi and let's change this noise uh put this up okay so just put control a all the way to the right now with this particular sound i just added a tiny bit of the sine wave in like so and then of course there's not much we have to do now we're just going to do a little bit of uh cut off envelope action here turn this egg comp up a little bit EQ we're gonna cut uh, the lows out boost a bit of the high end uh, and that's pretty much it make it wide so two voices turn the width up a fraction of a fraction of some reverb uh, push the release up a little bit play it with the other two cents make sure none of them have the side chaining turned on So I'm not quite sure what, obviously, monitoring system you're listening through, but through mine, I can just hear that that just gives it just a little bit of bite. It's just what it needs to just, you know, fill the spectrum. And yeah, it basically just gives it that nice grit that it needs. And, and that's our synths there. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, that took a wee while because, you know, there's a lot to go through inside Spire. But, you know, if you want to see how it is made from the initialized patch to the finished product, then I hope that was a good watch and you learned some things. And yeah, we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys.